what's up people today i wanted to do something and i wanted to address one thing what i'm first going to do is i'm going to read the first amendment of the united states constitution congress shall make no law representing an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or the right of the people to peacefully assemble and to pe petition the government for a redress of grievances. Now, for those that don't know what petition the government for redress of grievances doesn't know exactly what that means. It means to protest, which is why you have the right to peacefully assemble. And the reason I brought that up is because a lot of people are looking at the Nike campaign, the Colin Kaepernick, who's the face of the NFL protests, and they're using the fact that there was a statement made of he is disrespecting the troops now I'm gonna read something else because it's the oath that every enlisted soldier takes before becoming a part of our armed forces I blank do solemnly swear or affirm that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies foreign and domestic. I don't feel it necessary to read the entire oath simply because that first line speaks about supporting and defending the acts of petitioning the government for redress of grievances. If that is what the soldiers are supporting and defending how is it disrespectful to exercise what they are supporting and defending? When you look at the protests when it when he initially began it, the day after, well actually the day of his original protest when he was first asked about it, he spoke about he was not going to stand for an anthem that represented a country that allowed those that are in power or those that are supposed to protect others to go out and exercise overly abusive practices and not be accountable for it or not be held accountable for it. And when you look at what had happened for the past four years, there is an escalating show of force that's going towards not only the quote-unquote African-American community, it is going towards those that are poor for the majority, but now it's leaking heavily into the more affluent forms of those that are fighting back against the revenue trap which is basically them writing tickets or stopping for no reason without crimes and exercising things that are not there and not being held accountable. Because when you have for a four year stint since 2015, an escalation of street cops murdering individuals by shooting them in the back, by shooting the mentally ill by killing the unarmed by the the harming of children and saying that someone protesting this is disrespectful are you then saying it's okay to harm a child it's okay to shoot someone in the back it's okay when there is not a threat or a crime that is okay to take someone's life because a lot of us like to like to add a color to it. But the problem is when it's escalating from in the realms of four or five hundred death 
per year to now over 1500 per year, which is gone from maybe one a day to now more than four per day. The protest is not against police officers. It's not against the flag. It is not against the country. It is against those not being held accountable. Because when you have over 4,000 murders, less than 13 being charged, and only five convictions that resulted in things that lasted less than a year of incarceration. These are the things that the protest itself was for. No one says you have to agree with it. Maybe you don't agree with the time. Maybe you would rather him do it, you know, in a hundred infomercials. But the fact is the soldiers are the ones fighting for him to have that right to do so. And if you love the country, whether you respect the message or you respect the protest, you should respect him because they are fighting for him to have the right to do so. This is my quick rant for today. I'll hit you with another video. And I'll talk to you soon. Till next time.